Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have my team of the week, week 12 prediction. So I am going to get into my honorable mentions first off, but I do want to say thank you guys very much for all the support. It has been absolutely insane. The past couple days we have been growing so fast. We are closing in now on 50,000 subscribers at the time I'm recording this video. We are about 1600 away just a little bit over 1600 away so we are pretty freaking close to 50k all i want for christmas is 50,000 subscribers so hopefully we can hit that but with that being said let's get into my honorable mentions and those are going to be patrick chung who had 13 tackles and a forced fumble for the patriots now the patriots already have uh one team of the week boss player and of course that's Devin McCourty so for Patrick Chung to also get it would be kind of weird. They also just got Jason McCourty a new card for the Blitz promo. So I don't think Patrick Chung will get it. Uh, Philip Rivers, this man, I believe he went 28 for 29. And he broke the NFL record for most pass completions to start off a game. And also tied it for most pass completions in a row in general. Absolutely insane. He had a crazy good game. And he also had three touchdowns. So he definitely deserves to be in here for at least a mention. Uh, if he's not going to end up getting it. And also Kirk Cousins, who had 342 yards and three touchdowns. And they did, in fact, beat the Packers. So it's kind of possible that any of those three guys could get card. But if any of them would, to be honest, it would probably be Rivers. Because that man just went absolutely ham. Even though the card wouldn't really be uh, a much wanted card. Because not a lot of people really want Phillip Rivers. Uh, he's just really, uh, basically, a mobile uh immobile pocket passer so he really can outrun it all but of course he would have some pretty good throwing stats so those are my honorable mentions and with that being said let's go ahead and get into the set so getting into the set cards i'm going to start it off with amari cooper now as a cowboys fan i definitely would love to see amari cooper get the team of the week hero or a team of the week boss now could it happen I think it definitely could with the fact that EA knows there's so much hype around Amari Cooper right now. They definitely could give him a boss card, but he only has an 82 overall. So will they end up giving him a jump from 82 all the way up to over 90 to get a Team of the Week hero? I really don't think Amari Cooper will. Uh, he could get a high Team of the Week elite. If he ends up getting the boss, I mean, or the hero of the boss, I definitely am not going to be upset with that as a Cowboys fan. I already have Amari Cooper powered up now, so I'm 110% ready to pick up any new Cooper card. So please, EA, give me Amari Cooper. I will definitely have that man on the team within a couple hours of his release. So Amari Cooper, 180 yards, two touchdowns. Of course, had a 90-yard touchdown, and he also had a 40-yard touchdown. He absolutely killed it on Thanksgiving Day for the Cowboys. Uh, also, Tyler Lockett, 107 yards and a touchdown. Sony Michelle, 145 yards and also a touchdown. Uh, Josh Allen, he had 160 passing yards and 100 rushing yards. I believe it was actually like 98 or 99, uh, but he took a QB knee, so really he did have 100 rushing yards. So he had a really, really good game versus the Jags defense, and I definitely didn't think the Bills would even beat the Jags or have such a great game on offense. And he did have a very, very nice 75-yard touchdown pass. I was actually watching that game, and he had a pretty nice pass uh, under pressure, 75 yards. It was, it was a pretty good freaking throw. Also, Dante Pettis, 77 yards and a touchdown. Robert Foster, 94 yards and a touchdown. Marcus Williams, five tackles, a sack, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. Kyle Fuller would probably be uh, one of the highest overall cards with eight tackles, an interception, and two pass defense. And also, Trey Flowers. Now, Trey Flowers, uh, I believe, actually has a heavyweight 91 overall. So, this one isn't going to be for the set. It's more so another honorable mention uh, for possibly a boss. I could see Trey Flowers maybe getting a Team of the Week hero, but he already does have a 9-1 overall. It's kind of a stretch for a mention, but Trey Flowers could possibly be in there. We also have Anthony Brown, who has four tackles, a sack, an interception, and a pass defense 
for the Cowboys. He had a pretty solid game, and honestly, this year, he's been playing really, really bad. So finally, he has a good, decent game. Uh, we also have Shelby Harris, who had three tackles, a sack, a pick, and a pass defense. And Robert, hopefully I don't mess this up, Nick and Ditchie, I think is how you say his name. Nick and Ditchie? I'm honestly not too sure. Uh, eight tackles and two and a half sacks. So it looks like it could be a pretty solid set. Uh, Kyle Fuller most likely be the highest overall. And then, of course, Trey Flowers could very possibly end up getting some type of boss or hero. Okay, take that back. I actually just realized my brain completely just messed that up. I'm sure any Seahawks fans are probably like, what are you talking about, Zerk? That's not Trey Flowers from the Patriots. That's Trey Flowers from the Seahawks. So I was a little confused as well why he was actually in the set for me. But that's not going to be Trey Flowers from the Patriots with the heavyweight edition. That's just the 76 overall Trey Flowers. He only has a 76 overall harvest edition. That's the cornerback for the Seahawks. So completely ignore what I said about the Team League Hero, Team League Boss. But Trey Flowers, again, should be in the set. Pretty solid stats for a corner to have two forced fumbles. And, of course, I kind of just overlooked the pass defense. I figured the two forced fumbles would probably be defensive end. But could be a pretty solid Team of the Week set. Let's get into Team of the Week heroes. For the offensive master and the defensive master, Jordan Poyer and Baker Mayfield. Now, I feel like now would be a great time to introduce a new Baker Mayfield card. He does have an 87, I want to say, overall gauntlet player. So I could definitely see Baker getting the upgrade to 92 overall. That would be one heck of a card. And I'm sure a ton of people would want to pick up this Baker Mayfield card, including maybe myself. If this card is actually pretty good, he definitely woke up feeling dangerous. He had himself quite a great game. Uh, 258 yards, four touchdowns, and a 143.9 QBR. They absolutely killed the Bengals. The Bengals got slaughtered. So Baker Mayfield could definitely get a card for the defensive master, Jordan Poyer, 10 tackles, a pick, and a pass defense. There wasn't really a lot of very good defensive players uh, that don't already have high overall cards. Remember, guys, team of the week, there's 92 overall heroes, and then there's a 94 overall boss. And I know someone's already in the comment, they probably already did, like Juju Smith-Schuster. If your team lost, they won't get a card. So Juju won't get a card. Uh... Christian McCaffrey won't get a card. Xavier Howard or Xavier Howard, one of the two. Uh, for the Dolphins, he was definitely on my list, but they did end up losing. So those three guys, you're not going to get a card. If your team lost, it's not going to happen. And if they already have a card, say a 90, 90 overall probably, they will not end up getting a 92 overall team of the week hero. It's just not how it works. So remember that if you're going to comment down below asking, you know, where's this guy in your predictions list? If they already have a high overall card or they lost... They're not going to end up getting a card. With that being said, let's get into the boss. So for the Team League boss, and this would be so cool of EA to do. Now, usually the rookies will not actually end up getting the Team League boss, but there's already been a Team League boss that was a rookie this year in Darius Leonard. So I do believe this actually has a pretty solid chance of happening. Derwin James, seven tackles, a pick, and two pass defense. And he also does have a rookie premiere, which is why this would be so cool. Now, he did just get a most feared card. So really, I just feel like the Chargers deserve to have a boss after that absolute domination of a game they had. So for the Chargers, Derwin James, or honestly, it could be Phillip Rivers. You could switch out the two, whichever one. I don't think people would be mad with either. I feel like a lot more people would obviously want Derwin James because they probably have his rookie premiere done just like I do. So getting a 94 Derwin James on your team would definitely be very nice. But I would not be too mad if it ended up being Phillip Rivers. So let me know down below what you guys think about my team of the week predictions. And let me know down below who you guys think will end up being in here. Remember, if the team lost, if they, if they lost the game, it's not going to happen. And also if they already have, you know, like a 92 overall card, they more than likely won't end up getting the, you know, Team League boss. The highest overall card I've seen that got Team League boss so far is TY, and he had a 91 overall uh, primetime performer. And then the rest of the cards, you know, the Team League heroes, they're 92. So if they already have a 90, they're more than likely not going to end up getting themselves a Team of the Week hero. So just keep that in mind if you're going to comment down below. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you guys check out my other videos from today. And of course, if they do end up revealing the Team of the Week later tonight, I will be having another video coming out if they do decide to do that, as well as the 8 p.m. sets where we get Zeke and the other players. I already did one on this morning sets and also 
had a very, very nice uh, token set pulled. I want to reveal which one. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.